Axiolif 1L Plus. The operating room setup fits conveniently on a Mayo stand and follows the procedure sequentially from left to right. First, palpate the paracoxygeal notch and make a 2 centimeter incision lateral to the coccyx. Next, insert the dissecting tool and advance it along the midline of the anterior sacral surface with fluoroscopic monitoring. At approximately the S1 S2 junction, engage the beveled guide pin and tap it into L5. Once the guide wire is engaged, use a series of sequential dilators to create a working channel. A dilator sheath is attached to the 10 millimeter dilator. The dilator sheath is left in the sacrum to create a transosseous working channel. Drill into L5 S1 disc space with the 9 millimeter cannulated drill. Prepare the disc space with a series of nitinol disc cutters and and plate rasps, varying in length and cutting actions. Each of the four cutters and rasps are designed to debulk the nucleus pulposus and abrade the vertebral end plates circumferentially up to the three centimeter footprint while creating a bleeding bed for fusion. Use the tissue extractors between the four cutters and rasps to extract the diseased disc. Use the bone graft inserter to fill the disc space with a mixture of autologous blood and demineralized bone material. Remove the 10 millimeter sheath with the 8 millimeter dilator. Insert the 12 millimeter dilator and sheath into the working channel. Remove the 12 millimeter dilator and leave the 12 millimeter sheath in place. Drill just into the L5 S1 disc space with the 10.5 millimeter drill. Using the 12 millimeter dilator tamp, advance the 12 millimeter sheath until it is flush with the inferior end plate of L5, effectively pushing bone graft material radially. Advance the 10.5 millimeter drill one third to halfway into the L5 vertebral body to allow for the L5 dilator trial insertion. Insert the selected L5 dilator trial into the L5 vertebral body until the shoulder is in line with the inferior L5 end plate. From this placement, the L5 and S1 anchor sizing is determined. Remove the 12 millimeter sheath with the 10 millimeter dilator. Insert sequentially the exchange bushing and tubular retractor over the guide wire. While holding the tubular retractor on the face of the sacrum, insert two fixation wires to hold the tubular retractor in place. Assemble the selected L5 anchor, distraction rod, and S1 anchor onto the dual driver and insert into the prepared channel simultaneously. Use the counter torque tube and distraction driver to advance the internal distraction rod. They are designed to distract the L5 S1 vertebral bodies, restore disc height, and indirectly decompress the neural foramen. The L5 and S1 anchors remain stationary in the vertebral bodies during the L5 S1 distraction. Insert the fixation rod to lock the L5 anchor, distraction rod, and S1 anchor into a solid construct. The Axialif 1L Plus procedure is complete via surgeon's preference of posterior instrumentation. Axialif 1L Plus.